Hi, and welcome to this introductory video about quality improvements in healthcare. I'm Dr. Hamer, a clinical psychologist working with the Veterans Affairs Quality Scholars Program. This is a national interdisciplinary training program for doctorally prepared scholars and leaders in the science of healthcare improvement. Let's take a look at how the information is going to flow in this video. I'll first distinguish the difference between equity and equality, and explicitly define equity. Next, we'll look at how various healthcare systems rank with regard to equity. Finally, we'll consider strategies for organizations to consider in order to make healthcare equity a priority. We hear a lot of people using the word equity these days, but what does it really mean? It's not quite the same as equality, which means everybody gets treated the same and receives the exact same thing. Equity is about fairness. It means that everybody gets what they need based on their own situation, because we're not all the same. The difference between equality and equity is important. Only recently has healthcare improvements become focused on equity rather than equality, and this is part of the reason the United States spends more on healthcare per person than any other advanced nation and has much poorer population health outcomes. As identified by the National Academies of Medicine, there are six dimensions of healthcare quality. Here, we'll focus on how we can target equity to improve the standards of care and the health outcomes of the populations that we serve. The National Academies of Medicine defines equity as providing care that does not vary in quality because of personal characteristics such as gender, ethnicity, geographic location, and socioeconomic status. Stated more clearly, equity within the context of healthcare is when everyone has the opportunity to be as healthy as possible. Every health profession and healthcare system has its own way of advocating for equity in the provision of clinical care and social services. Although the language used to convey this is different across fields and systems, the core message of the languages is the same and aligned with the mission of reducing the burden of illness, injury and disability, and improving the health and functioning of the people served. Let's consider this very practical example of equity. The picture to the left is of a family with obviously disparate heights. Advocates for equality would posit that we should just give each of the members of the family the same exact tool to help them view the baseball game. On the other hand, advocates for equity would have it that we first understand the circumstantial barriers to helping each member of this family and ensure that everyone has exactly what they need to gain an optimal viewing of the baseball game. The consequences of neglecting a targeted focus on health equity manifest as health disparities across groups of people. Health inequities are reflected in differences in lengths of life, quality of life, rates of disease, disability and death, severity of disease, and access to treatment. These differences become stratified by social variables such as racial and ethnic groups, gender, socioeconomic status, geographic location of neighborhoods people live in, among other social variables. There are data that compare international healthcare systems on several metrics, including equity. In countries with healthcare systems that ranked higher on measures of equity, relatively small differences between lower and higher income adults existed. However, lower ranked countries evidence larger disparities between lower and higher income adults. These differences were especially large on measures related to financial barriers to care, such as skipping needed doctor's visits or dental care, foregoing treatments or tests and not billing prescriptions because of the cost. When healthcare systems focus on targeting equity, we begin to see reduced health disparities related to racial or ethnic group, religion, socioeconomic status, 
gender, age, mental health status, cognitive sensory or physical disability status, sexual orientation or gender identity, geographic location, or other characteristics historically linked to discrimination or exclusion. Here are a few steps that organizations can take towards prioritizing health equity. For instance, making health equity a strategic priority requires equity to be embedded in administrative processes and policies. Educational instruction methodologies and financial aspects of healthcare operations. Healthcare systems should begin encouraging and rewarding clinicians who prioritize equity and setting aside the time and resources to adequately address equity related issues. Integrating equity as a strategic priority will help develop structures and processes to support health equity work, including educating administrators, clinicians, and trainees to support equitable health care. Another strategy would be to deploy specific strategies to address the multiple determinants of health on which healthcare organizations can have a pretty direct impact. For instance, collecting and analyzing data on patient populations is helpful to incorporate multiple determinants of health and improve population outcomes. Another strategy to prioritize health equity is to reduce overall organizational bias by educating clinicians on implicit bias and increasing their awareness of tools to address biases. Finally, healthcare organizations should develop strategic partnerships with community organizations. Healthcare operations is not a silo, and improving healthcare quality must be approached in a multifaceted and holistic manner. Many of the most important quality problems faced in healthcare require breaking down silos between healthcare and other social services. There's evidence that demonstrates increasing spending on social services outside of healthcare can lead to concrete improvements in health outcomes. So, in summary, equity and equality are not the same thing, and it's important to understand the difference if you're going to engage in any type of quality improvement efforts. Equity is a dimension of quality that has only recently become a targeted focus of broader healthcare improvement efforts, and due to this lack of prioritization of equity, the United States spends more on healthcare per person than any other advanced nation and has much poorer population health outcomes. Ultimately, organizations must prioritize equity to ensure that all patients have the opportunity to be as healthy as possible.